Tomorrow marks a day to celebrate the independence of Americans and to commemorate the ending of slavery. Many will gather to celebrate Juneteenth, recognized as a federal holiday since 2021. Gianna Zhao spoke with leaders at Peoria's NAACP about the importance of this holiday. Gianna. Thank you, Lizzie. NAACP leaders tell me this isn't just a holiday, but a remembrance of what enslaved people went through to have their freedoms. Plus, they continue the journey of fighting for future generations. Juneteenth is a reminder and a symbol of those freedoms that we received as a gift from our ancestors. So it's on their shoulders that we stand and on those shoulders that we move forward. This holiday showcases the independence of those who were enslaved in 1865. The Peoria NAACP first vice president, Sherry Carter Allen says, this isn't just a day to celebrate that freedom, but to honor those who have fought for the liberties of African Americans. We have been a, de a depressed community, a suppressed community, and an oppressed community. And this is something positive that if those individuals that were enslaved in 1865, after they have been freed, can celebrate everything that they have gone through, we can celebrate it as well. The NAACP says younger generations should know about the rich history surrounding this day and the culture. They work to do this through events. This is historic and it's something that needs to be preserved, discovered, and to continue to be talked about and celebrated and not to be buried and done away with because history is important to our people. One of their latest projects the Peoria branch is working on includes policies for minority procurement, which is doing business with minority contractors, getting more minorities in the workforce, and spending more money with minority vendors. Uh, sheds a light not only on the national level, but on our local heroes here in Peoria because the local heroes have done a lot. So I stand on the shoulders of those who have come before, and I, my work is based on what they began. As a black woman from the 50s, it moves my very soul to see the progression that we've made as a people in this nation. It moves my very soul to be able to pour into the younger generation uh, that will move forward with the battle for civil liberties. So as a black man in Peoria, I take pride in what we've accomplished and where we are yet to go and how we have to always have to seemingly have to scrap and fight for what we rightly deserve. But that's okay. We were built for the battle and we are created for the conflict. Gianna Jow, 25 News. The Peoria Freedom Fest is this Saturday at Truman Park from 11 to 4.